G'day, Mick here again. Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to finish off this fire dragon that you can see is already finished. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, if you saw my last video for the fire dragon, I'll leave a link up there. Uh, I didn't have a motor in it and I needed to finish the body. Well, I needed to start the body, really. Um, yeah, so uh, basically the body came painted, as you know. Uh, they come pre-painted on my last video Nick Robinson commented um, with a good idea uh, about making the red pop a little bit better you see it's quite bright on the box um, yeah so the pre-painted body comes just with PS2 red on it um, so he suggested mask up the window and uh, hit it with some PS1 white so that's what I did and that's what happened um, as you can see under the body it's got some red under there uh, so after I did the white, I just hit it with a bit of uh, red, so it looks red underneath as well. Anyway, got the super stock RZ motor in there now. I couldn't decide what motor to put in it, and uh, the brushless motors hadn't turned up. Well, they still haven't. Um, so yeah, went for a brush motor, all good. Also, I've got the uh, the brace on the front there for the, the A5 part, if you can see that, I hope. <laughs> anyway, so we'll go through that as well. All right, so we'll get into it and uh, show you the steps it took to get the uh, the body and stuff all done and put, putting the motor in. Now for the chassis brace, all I did there was uh, bend up a piece of aluminium and uh, drill a few holes in it and screw it up. That was it. Now moving on to the body, I did the driver first. So I left him on the frame and just painted him up. And then took him off the frame and put him together. So there he is. Didn't get too detailed with it. I thought it's pretty good how it is. Now what I'm doing here, I've masked off the window because I'm going to put a bit of uh, white behind the red just to make it pop. But because I cut through the tape a little bit deep right there, <laughs> I'm going to have to put a bit of red on first. So I'll use a bit of PS2 red and then a bit of PS1 white. And as you can see, got the white on there after the red. <laughs> Yeah, it all looks pretty good. Now this idea was a suggestion from Nick Robinson who commented on my last Via Dragon video. Thought it would be a good idea just to make it pop a little bit more and I agree. Good on you Nick. So there we go. I thought I'd put a bit of red behind the white just so it's not white on the inside too. I think it looks pretty good. So I've taken the window mask off. Turned out pretty well. So now the painting's all done, we can uh, go and peel off the film, see how she looks. And of course these are always hard to get started on camera. <laughs> Never go smoothly. There we go. Oh look, it's just going to tear down the middle. Very nice. <laughs> so anyway, that's one side. And we can rip the other side off now. And there it is. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Nice and bright with the white behind it. So now we can uh, go and get onto the decals. So I'll cut those out and we can get them on. So we're getting closer now. Chassis is all done. Driver and the body is waiting. And I'm cutting out the decals. Now I normally just use a, a scalpel knife on these. I find it easier in getting closer to the to the decals. Sometimes I use the scissors, but not very often. And doing around these flame areas, it's very handy using the knife. And there we go. They're all cut out. Yeah, no time to waste. Straight into putting the decals on. <laughs> So that's the back all done, and before I go any further, I made the little 3mm hole for the driver's head. So we can put a screw into his head. <laughs> anyway, back into the decals, got the front one on there. And put the long one down the roof. And made a hole and, uh, yeah, put the driver in there, screwed him in, so he's ready to go. And from there, just got onto the rest of the decals. 
And as I go, to make applying the decals a bit easier, I just dip them into a, a bit of soapy water. Then you can slide them around a bit on the, on the body and get them straight. Now for a little sticker on top there, I chose a red one. You get a choice of red or yellow. I thought the red looked better with the, uh, with the flames and stuff. Now just the last few stickers to go on the side there. And we can call it done. And that's it. All the decals are on. Looks pretty good I reckon. Now the body's all done. Can get moving and put the motor in. Alrighty, so that's our body done. Looking pretty good I think. Got the driver in there. All very nice. Now for the motor. And I finally made a decision. It's a pretty simple one really. The brushless motors haven't turned up yet. So I'm going to run a brush motor. And of course that'll be the Temia Superstock RZ. So I'll crack that open and have a bit of a gander. Alrighty. So there he is. Looks pretty good I think. So yeah. Um, a lot of people do the bearing mod on this. I have done one before but I'm not going to bother with this one. You don't really notice that much difference. Maybe the run time's a little bit longer, but whatever. <laughs> so we'll bang this in and um, we'll be good to go. So there's our motor and parts all ready to go. And we start off by putting the gasket on, then the motor plate, and bang a couple of screws in the front. From there we can go and put the pinion on. Now I've already put the grub screw into the pinion. And we've got to measure 14.5 millimetre from the bottom of the uh, motor plate to the top of the pinion. Now check it again. All good. So we can bang the motor in. It's a bit tricky trying to see from this angle. <laughs> there, put the screws in, tighten them up. And the second one. Tighten that one up too. And there we go. Quick check to see the, the gearbox turns. <laughs> now I can wire it up. So I'll start by taking the dust cover off the uh, chassis. And plugging the black wire from the motor into the uh, blue wire of the ESC. And then the red wire from the motor into the uh, yellow wire of the ESC. We're all good. We don't use the orange one of course, that's only for brushless motors. Now gather all the wires up and make them neat, put a cable tie on there and squish them down in the chassis somewhere there. <laughs> now we can put our dust cover back on and bang the screw in it and we're done. And... Alive, it's alive. It's alive. <coughs> yeah okay, now we can put the body on. <laughs> And we can also call it done. So now we can have a bit of a closer look. And I think the uh, super stock RZ motor is a nice fit there with the red. It seems to match the body pretty good I think. Now I thought about doing the tyre lettering in white. You know make it stand out a bit. Always looks a bit nicer. But um, looking at the body there's kind of a lot going on with the body. So I didn't want to add to it by doing the tyre lettering. And you know it might have been just too much. And I think the wheels look pretty good, you know, the black tyres on the black wheels, I think it looks pretty good like that. So that's it, it's all finished. So I'll probably get this out for a run, maybe next week I'm thinking. Uh, this week's almost gone. Um, yeah, should be fun. Probably take it down the BMX track or, or the park or something, I'm not really sure. Yeah, if you liked the video, give it a thumb up. If you're new here, subscribe, that'd be awesome. And catch you on the next one.